So these are the two things that really, really helped me in terms of centering and also trimming. Hello beautiful people and welcome to Lima Ceramics. So in today's video is all about two things that actually saved my time into pottery which really helped me to develop my uh, shape and forms of my mugs and whatever I create on my pottery wheel. So these are the two things that really really helped me in terms of centering and also trimming stay on the video to watch the full video on how i use this um, bat system and how i use this trimming tool and where you can get them from as well just a disclaimer this is not a sponsored video it's all about my thoughts and my experience and uh, my research i've done behind them before i got them and i purchased them on my own so no one has sponsored me to do so so watch the video to see how I use this trimming tool and how I use this bath system. So this bath system really helped me out with how my pot used to look looked like because um, I didn't need to touch them, I didn't need to do anything. So once they really helped me to uh, reduce the time of my making my pots. So first I take a sponge and uh, wipe the, make the wheel head wet. After which I take the rug and damp it in water. Once it's damped, soak out all the water and place it on top of the wheel head like so. Take the bat system and place it over the wheel head, making sure it doesn't move. Take your bat, which I've already used once. I'm gonna use this part now and place it wet. The whole system and let's start drawing i bought this from hartley and noble and they their service is really really good and they answered my questions really nicely as well because uh, my will is very very one of the cheapest ones and it has a small head so i was like was it possible to have the size I wanted and they have actually every size and you can make them also bespoke to your wheel head so you can ask them to make it that the size your wheel head is and if you need pins as well if you don't need pins you say you don't need pins so they are they make your but system uh, be spoke to your wheel head and uh, which is a great great thing because I was looking for a bat system that doesn't require pin I couldn't find it anywhere and suddenly on an Instagram page I found that this potter was using a bat system that doesn't have pins and I was like wow I need that in my life and then I found them and it was a great choice and I couldn't be more happier to have this in my pottery the other thing that really helped me a lot was this trimming tool. After throwing onto a bath system, once my mug is dried up, what I needed was something that could center my dried mug into the wheel. Most of the times I could make it, most of the times I couldn't because I'm still a novice into pottery, so everything for me is new. Learning every day from everything I do because I'm self-learning uh, with other potters on YouTube with other potters on Instagram that do really inspire me so I've seen this uh, this system a trimming tool system that was this one is the cheapest one I could find every anywhere I was looking for a Griffin grip but in a cheaper price because that cost quite a lot of money around 200 to 250 pounds 
which is kind of expensive for me as I started as a new potter plus I'm not that much experienced with pottery yet and it, this is not my professional thing to do so I didn't this I bought it from Aliexpress um, I know it can be it might be a bit of a dodgy website but I love people it came in one week and from the time I ordered and it came good as is shown in the picture it does the job as it said as a griffin gift but the price is even a quarter less but is even cheaper than that can you believe that it's really really nice look at that so it might be a little bit bulkier than the griffin grip but this one has this um, this holding thing that you can actually make them go until I think 40 centimeter of your wheel head which is quite good for a size of this and uh, it goes to the lowest which is the 25th um, centimeter with this uh, with this uh, gadgets that really helps to hold your and center that way so it made my trimming centering life very very easier so as you can see it's really easy to use and if you have bigger pots they give you these things that can help to to hold your pot so you just put this in here like Griffin Gibbs has different other sizes with this one you don't get many sizes so you just get this size or you can just use the one from here like here this this one I think I use mostly that um, but for the price actually I wouldn't complain for anything else to be honest and this does the job this actually centers my pot and also helps me trimming in a quick and a quicker and efficient way I don't need to mark and uh, make sure it's uh, in the center reopen remake sure it's in the center no with this one put it on center it's already it becomes center thanks to the um, turning points and then start trimming finish the pot start another one the only down part is because my wheel is quite small um, what happens when I trim is everything goes everywhere so I need to find a way maybe to just have everything uh, that falls down in one place instead of going like shattering splattering everywhere so what tends to happen is most of the time the clay splatters everywhere so I really love this product I think it really helped me if you want to buy one of these one of these bat system or this turning wheel you can find them on my link uh, on my description box I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the links on there you will check them out definitely if you're a this potter you want to start something and you really into pottery really want to do something into pottery but not as experienced yet this could be the starting point to help you out this is really really cheap as well so you can have a look to yourself and then buy one of these to help you out to trim and the bat system always does help so maybe uh, invest onto a bat system but get also yourself a trimming tool that doesn't cost much and is just a fraction of the price of a griffin grip so in my next see that um, I'm trimming quite nicely um, I don't it doesn't the monk doesn't fly off it makes me feel good because it saved me a lot of time on doing many things so yeah yeah if you really enjoyed my video um, and you want to see more of how I started off my pottery onto and how far I came and how am I finding it how you can start as well so if you want to see those type of videos please let me know in the comment box below I'll show you how I started and what equipments I used to start off into this journey and it was really rewarding actually it's really rewarding it's really therapeutic so I would I would recommend you if you are a new starter just invest on in some little little things and maybe you will find your way through them so that's how I did mine so if you really like my video please like comment and subscribe onto my channel to see have a nice time till my next video and enjoy this new pottery journey with Lima Ceramics.